Hey everybody, welcome to a very special edition of Young Bucks. Today we're going to be looking at two of my favorite topics in the whole wide world, football and finance. So this is from the hit HBO documentary series called Hard Knocks. They follow NFL teams all around this year. They're following the Cleveland Browns who were 0-16 last year. So this is the first episode it aired earlier this week. And we get a little bit of a financial lesson from Carl Nassib one of the defensive ends on the team. So let's listen to what he has to say, see what's good, see what's bad, see what needs some criticism, and go from there. Time is money. Just ask defensive end Carl Nassib. Who here knows what compound interest is? This is real <laughs> Financial advisors are everywhere, okay? They'll take your money and they'll take 1% of everything you got. And you're like, oh, it's 1%. It doesn't matter. Probably. I know it matters. It That's matters. Why I it matters a, a lot. One percent matters, even as a financial advisor. I can't argue with that, uh, but we do have a little bit more of a role, I would like to think, in our clients' lives, maybe than what NASIB thinks. Because if you learn this yourself, you can make a billion dollars. We got a lot of money right now, right? This is the easiest equation to make you rich. You have a million dollars. So here we go. Take notes out there, people on the internet world. We're getting the easiest stuff in the world, a simple equation to make billions of dollars. You don't need a narwhal capital management of the world. You don't need a financial advisor from any other firm. Mr. Nassib, a defensive end for the Cleveland Browns, is gonna tell you how to make a billion dollars with the simplest equation ever. Dollars, and after seven years of getting 10% on that money every single year, okay, you're making money off of it. You're gonna double it after seven years. First thing I have a little bit of an issue with. He says that you're gonna double your money if you get a 10% return every year for seven years. You're not actually gonna double your money over that period. Part of what you pay a financial advisor to do is to give you very precise and accurate numbers. There's a difference between having 94.8% as a return over a seven year period and having a 100% return, which would be a double of your money over a seven year period. He actually shows the right math on the whiteboard there, and you see that you have 1.948 times the initial balance after seven years if you get a 10% return over seven years, but he does not actually communicate that. He says that you're gonna double your money, and you're not, and that comes into play tremendously over time as you compound that rate of return because there is a difference between getting 100% on your money and getting 94.8% on your money. So you double your money every seven years for but you don't years you get 64 times your original money you don't actually even by his own math if you're getting 10 percent compounded over time you're not going to get 64 times your money over the course of 42 years you're actually going to get a little bit more than 54 times your money now that's still a great number everybody would love to take a million dollars and turn it into 54 million dollars but that 54 million dollars is not the same as $64 million. So something to be mindful of is there's a little bit of a challenge with math here. So all you have to do is get 10% times what you're getting every year over and over and over. And that sounds really great. That sounds really easy. What's tough as a financial advisor is I don't quite know how to do that. Now, why would you pay me to give you that advice when you could ask a defensive end what to do? And apparently there's a really simple solution to getting 10% on your money every single year for the next 42 years, given this example. So you're telling us that all we gotta do is put $100,000 in the bank yep. and let it sit there. 100%. Let it sit. Don't. Put $100,000 in the bank and let it just sit there. 100%, Mr. Nassib says, that's all you gotta do and you can get 10% return on your money. The problem I see with that is I cannot figure out where for the life of me Carl Nassib is actually doing his banking because most banks right now are giving you between one and a half and 2% interest on your money. So let's call it 1.75%. Now, if you got 1.75% interest on your money, which again is about what banks are giving you in the real world right now, over the course of 42 years, you would have more money in the bank than you started with. You'd actually more than double your money. You'd go from a million dollars to 1.0 or $2.08 million. But that's nowhere close to what he's showing. He's showing a 10% return every single year over the course of a 42 year period. And I don't know where he's getting that. You know, even if you invested entirely in stocks, there's not necessarily compelling reason to suggest that you would get a 10% return every year over the long haul. The S&P 500 annualized return on 10 years, 
it's less than 10%. Over the last 15 years, less than 10%. Over the last 20, less than 10%. So you're not actually paying a financial advisor, in my opinion, to tell you to save money, don't buy Rolexes, don't make stupid purchases. Part of what you're paying a financial advisor to do is that, but the majority of what you're paying them to do is to actual, actually pick investments. Because if you followed the directions he just gave and just put your money and let it sit in the bank, you would earn less interest than the current rate of inflation and your purchasing power would actually be less, much less probably in 42 years than it is right now. In that case, you might as well spend the money. So you got to look into the details. The idea that you can just put money somewhere and make tons of money, 10% interest over time forever is not really that great. I applaud Mr. Nassib for the idea of saving money. But simply saying, throw your money here and get a good rate of return for forever and you'll be better off. It's kind of like me saying, hey, I should be the head coach of the Cleveland Browns because all I have to do is get Nassif here to get 15 or 20 sacks every single season and get two or three other defensive playmakers to do the exact same thing. If we can get four guys getting 20 sacks a year, that's 80 sacks over the course of the season. No other opposing offense is going to be able to do anything against the Browns. Yeah, that's technically true. Yeah, getting a 10% return is a great way to have a lot of money at the end if you don't touch it. But that's just a little bit of a broad concept. You got to have actual execution to get there. Don't touch it. Interest. It's called interest and it's so easy. Interest. It's so easy. Tusk Media is a subsidiary of Narwhal Capital Management. Ratings and reviews of Tusk Media content are not to be construed as endorsements of opinions, analysis, or services offered by Tusk or its parent company. The opinions and predictions shared here are our professional beliefs at the time of publication. We are not under duress from any of the corporate entities mentioned. This is not a solicitation to take any particular action. Although we are investment advisors, this information should not be considered investment, legal, or tax advice. We strive to be as impartial, insightful, and accurate as possible. We base our opinions, analysis, and calculations on information we believe to be reliable, but we cannot guarantee its accuracy. We can, however, guarantee that our opinions will sometimes be flat out wrong due to a variety of factors. Employees and clients of Narwhal Capital Management may or may not hold positions in the securities detailed and may or may not hold these positions in the future. A full list of all securities purchased, sold, or held during the 12 months preceding the date of this publication can be provided upon request. Unless otherwise noted, all data accessed via MarketWatch or the Bloomberg Terminal. Past performance does not guarantee future results. A copy of Narwhal's form ADV is available at the SEC's website, www.advisorinfo.sec.gov, or from Narwhal upon written request.